Record money going out of the bank manually in Sage Accounting. Manually enter your outgoing bank transactions into Sage Accounting with ease. In this video, we'll show you how to enter these transactions correctly. There are several types of outgoing money transaction types. They are supplier payments, other payments, and customer refunds. Bank transfers and bank deposits are covered in a separate video. A supplier payment is a payment against a purchase invoice. This could also be a deposit paid in advance and safe as a payment on account. Other payments are money paid when you don't have a corresponding invoice. For example, an over-the-counter or one-off purchase. You may send a refund to a customer. Customer refunds should be allocated to a credit note or a payment on account. Entering these transactions correctly is important as they could directly impact your VAT returns and bank reconciliations. To get started, navigate to banking. We'll start with supplier payments. There are several ways to create a supplier payment and we'll cover each of these. To start, use the new dropdown and click Purchase Payment. There are three tabs at the top. Choose Supplier Payment. All mandatory information is marked with an asterisk. Complete this information, starting with the supplier record. Once you've selected the relevant supplier, transactions with an outstanding balance appear here. Next, select the bank account the money was paid from, then the payment method. Using the calendar, select the date the money left this bank account. This should match your bank statement. A reference can be entered here if applicable. Input the amount you paid here. To allocate this payment to the relevant transactions, select the checkbox next to the transaction. You can allocate this to more than one if required. Any discounts can be entered here. If a part payment has been sent, click the pencil icon in the paid column. Amend the value in the amount to pay box. This is the amount you have paid against the selected invoice. If applicable, enter a discount here. The new outstanding invoice amount is confirmed. Check all information has been entered correctly, then click apply. The paid column now correctly reflects the part payment. When you're allocating supplier payments to invoices, the left to allocate box should be zero. If not, it could mean you have overpaid your supplier or the allocation is incorrect. Check this before saving. If you have overpaid the supplier, the overpayment in this box can be saved as a payment on account. Once it's saved as a payment on account, it can be matched to a future invoice or refunded if you receive the money back from your supplier. Please note, if you have a cash-based VAT scheme, you also need to choose the correct VAT rate. This box will only appear for VAT cash accounting schemes. This is because the VAT is calculated when you make the payment and not when the invoice is created. To attach a digital copy of any supporting documents, click here. Click Upload Files and browse to the relevant document. There are several options to choose from when saving your payment. To save for this and immediately enter another, use this drop-down and click Add Another. The payment will be saved and the form cleared so you can enter a new payment. If you'd like a remittance, you can save the payment and either print or email a remittance. Alternatively, to save this entry and return to the banking area, click Save. If there's amount left in the left to allocate box when saving, you'll receive this message. To go back and review this, click No. To save this overpayment as a payment on account, click Yes. Another way to enter supplier payments is in the Purchase Invoices list. To do this, navigate to your Purchase Invoices using the Purchases drop-down, find the relevant invoice and click on it. Then to record the payment, click here. Follow the on-screen steps and record your payment. This will automatically mark the invoice as paid or part paid and the supplier payment will show in your bank and supplier activity. To pay multiple invoices at once, from the Purchase Invoices list, select the relevant invoices using the checkbox on the left. Then from the options at the top, choose More. Click Pay or Allocate. You'll be automatically redirected to the Supplier Payment Entry page. Complete the details and save the supplier payment. If you sent a supplier a deposit for a future invoice, you can add this as a payment on account. To do this, 
Follow the same process as entering a supplier payment. Enter all mandatory information here. This time don't allocate the payment any transactions. The left to allocate box will show the full payment value. Please note, if you have a cash-based VAT scheme, you will also need to choose the correct VAT rate when saving the transaction. Click Save. A message appears to warn you that the full amount of the payment hasn't been allocated and this will be saved as a payment on account. To continue, click Yes. You must remember to manually allocate this to the relevant invoice or credit note at a later date within the supplier record. If you have a payment that will not be allocated to an invoice now or in the future, enter this as an other payment. For example, an over-the-counter or an immediate online purchase. Start in the Banking tab. Use the new drop-down and click Purchase Payment. From the options at the top, click Other Payment. Complete the relevant information here. Other payments do not need to be recorded against the supplier. However, if you have a regular supplier that you've purchased something from, but didn't require an invoice, you can select them here. For reporting and compliance purposes, you can split the payment between multiple ledger accounts and VAT rates. The default ledger account will appear automatically. If you'd like to change this, use the drop-down. If required, enter details of the purchase here. This could be the item bought or a general description such as over-the-counter or online purchase. The VAT rate will be automatically entered based on the default setting of the ledger account. Please note, if you're not VAT registered, the VAT rate box will not appear and therefore the value will not be split. The payment amount entered in the amount paid box at the top is automatically split between net and VAT. The total is also automatically entered. If you'd like to split the transaction between multiple ledger accounts and VAT rates, use the next available line. In this example, the full value of the payment is £100. £20 of this is zero rated for VAT and should be allocated to a different ledger account for reporting purposes. By entering the ledger account and the £20 net amount to the second item line, £20 has been added to the total payment. The left to record box should always be zero. In our example, item line one is not showing the correct values. The total amount, including VAT for this item line should be 80 pounds. By amending the total to the correct amount, the VAT and net amounts have been calculated automatically by Sage Accounting. The total net, total VAT and total boxes now show the correct values. The left to record is zero. To save the other payment, and record the money leaving the relevant bank account, click Save. Or if you have more payments like this one to enter, from the drop-down, click Add Another. From time to time, you may send a refund to a customer. For example, they have returned faulty goods or overpaid previous invoices. Start in the Banking tab. Use the new drop-down and click Purchase, Payment. From the options at the top, choose Customer Refund. Complete mandatory information, starting with the customer box. All transactions with an outstanding balance appear here. Next, choose the bank account the money was sent from, then the payment method. Enter the date you refunded the money. This should match your bank statement as it could impact both your VAT return and bank reconciliation. Enter a reference here, if applicable. Enter the amount refunded here. Select the checkbox next to the credit note or payment on account you'd like to allocate this payment to. You can allocate this to more than one item if required. Once allocated, the left to allocate box should be zero. Attach any supporting documents here. Click upload files and browse to the relevant document. When you're happy with the information entered, you can save the customer refund. If you have another refund to add, use this dropdown and click add another. If you choose this option, the transaction is saved and the form is cleared ready for the next customer refund entry. If you'd like a remittance, you can save the payment and either print or email a remittance. Alternatively, to save this refund and return to the banking tab, click Save. If you use the VAT cash accounting scheme, the refund shows on your next VAT return and the VAT rate is taken from the original transaction the refund is allocated to. Automate your processes save valuable time, and avoid human error with bank feeds.
bank transactions are automatically imported into Sage accounting, meaning less manual processing. Please visit Sage University to watch our videos on setting up and processing using bank feeds. For further information, access our help center by clicking help at the top of Sage accounting. You have now learned about each type of money out transaction and how to enter them correctly.